Hey, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right, man, the zone is asking for $85. However you look at it, subscribe or unsubscribe to view the pay-per-view of Gennady Golovkin and Canelo Alvarez, all right? So it's $85 for nine subscribers. Don't sound like you're going to get a month of zone free no more, from what I understand. I could be wrong from what I read. And 65 for nine the zone subscribers, which ain't no deal because you paying twenty dollars a month anyway. So your twenty is is the monthly uh subscription, and then the sixty-five is the pay-per-view. So you really paying eighty-five dollars. Cause one, you know they ain't gonna put no another great fight the same month as Gennady or the same month as Canelo Alvarez. They're not even gonna put a, a, a good Gennady Golovkin fight, which you don't really exist outside of Canelo other than like Dervichenko and a good Canelo fight, pay-per-view and a good, good enough and fight the same month or a solid fight. They're not doing that. So, you know, really what you're doing, you're paying for your $20, you're basically playing for the Canelo, you're paying $85 for the Canelo fight. They ain't gonna put no other good fight in September. The zone boxing lineup suck anyway. They only for international loving hardcore boxing fans. That's it. And people who love small weight class and you, I mean, international fights. That's pretty much what it's for. And the Canelo fight weekend, fight week is trash. I seen uh, Ring IQ, he had retweeted uh, a lot of people at the Grand Arrivals, you know. Uh, but that don't really equate into internet buzz. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has no buzz on the internet. Now, come fight night, come after the fight, it'll have a big buzz. Cause ain't nobody been fighting. That's just what the bottom line is. Ain't nobody been fighting. So if people are thirsty for a fight, if you hate the fight, if you love the fight, if you're neutral on the fight, and you got a platform, you got a Twitter handle, you got a Facebook, you got a metaverse, Instagram, whatever it is, you know, IG, you're gonna be talking about the fight after the fight. It's just the fact of the matter it is. Either if you miss it, you're gonna go back and rewatch it. Um, hold on. I mean, this is Carnes. If you don't miss it, you're gonna go back and rewatch it. Or you're gonna watch it and you're gonna join the discussion one way or another. So you can't deny that. They've been starving us of credible boxing. And at the end of the day, this ain't the most credible fight out here, but it is a trilogy. You got people saying they believe Golovkin won both fights. Dan Rayfield said he believed Golovkin won the first fight. That's not too far fetched. And the second fight was a draw. Absolutely, it wasn't. You don't know shit about boxing if you think the second fight was. It wasn't even close. It wasn't competitive. Canelo Alvarez mopped Gennady Golovkin. He did everything but drop and knock his ass off. Okay, Gennady, and for one thing, Gennady Golovkin is not white. No matter how much I want him to be white, he not. No matter how much I want him to be a superstar, he not a superstar in America. Without Canelo, he's fucking irrelevant. So, you know, white American boxer fans, he is not white. He's more Asian than white. But $85, that might be the new standard pay-per-view price, too. You know, a lot of people thought if they did make Earl Smith and Terrence Crawford, that it was going to be $100. Metro said that. He felt that it, he felt that they was going to upcharge to $100. $85, you're only $15 off. You know, I mean, by well, you know, charge 100. And the chances is this fight won't be good as the first or the second fight. And they're going to charge you, what, 25 more dollars, 10, 15 more dollars? Boxing is in a fire fit, fire, fire sale. You had, you had Canelo Alvarez did this a few years ago, then, hey, I can understand it. But he purposely waited for Canelo to be on the down slope. And that's the, and that's the honest truth. It seemed like the worse the product, the more they upcharge. That's pretty much what it seemed like. 
That's what it seemed like. The worse the product, the more they upcharge it. You know, but then you gotta understand, man, a lot of businesses closing down due to inflation. That's an actual fact. A lot of places are closing down due to inflation. Because they can't afford it. You know? So, think about that for a minute. So, of course, the sport that's thirsty for, for, for uh, patrons and viewership, of course, they're going to upcharge just off, off rip. But in reality, it's not something I spent eighty five dollars on. We got better other ways to spend, and we'll see who all spent eighty five dollars on. Even though, quote unquote, the zone on recent least the numbers, we know this fight not gonna do what they think it's gonna do, and I don't expect the zone to be in business for too much longer. I don't, because they can't be flipping. The, they can't be flipping too much of a profit. They can't. They selling a hardcore boxing fan. It's only a handful of them. Megan talk about all the international markets they got, but the main one they started and they targeting in America. You know, um, you know. I think they started another market, but the main one, America. Don't nobody care. I ain't heard one person in passing, gym, work, whoever, on social media outside of the boxing fans say that uh, talk about this fight and I think and a lot of people are going to disagree with me here but I think the best way for Gennady Golovkin to expand his brand was to fuck with Al Heyman and to fight the American fighters people wanted to see him fight even though it was dangerous but shit you fought an unknown and lost to Dimitri Bivol Benavidez, Charlo Twins, Harold Spence. That's who we should have been fighting. Find Gennady Golovkin on a, on, a, on, a, on an app that nobody knows. It's not going to spend your brand. It's going to spend your spend your dollars. But, you know, basically, the design ATM, they already basically went bankrupt rock, rock, at once. And they had to get a capital injection. Just to get Canelo to come back to the network. And now an upstart app that was about $20, $10 subscription boxing, now charging $20 a month and charging you an additional $65 to watch Canelo Alvarez when it was supposed to be part of your subscription. You can't set the bar low and then set it super duper high. You know, especially where people bar barely paying their bills and people cutting off cable and people, you know, shaving the fat off their bills, right? And expect them to buy an app that offers nothing but this niche sport of boxing and a dying sport of red, the red zone version of MLB baseball. Yeah, it's better off putting porn on there. Virtual strip clubs and shit, that's better off doing something like that, a virtual zone casino. in the grand scheme of things, don't nobody care about fucking boxing. They don't. And they pocket's not big enough to, to bid on the Sunday ticket for the NFL. Like I said, it's some, it's some sports fans in the boxing, there's some people in boxing that only watch boxing. That's a very, very minority. And I really think that shit is weird to me. One, I think men that don't watch sports is weird. That's my opinion. Um, there's exceptions. And then niggas that just watch nothing but boxing. Like, I can see if it was in the golden age or shit, the 90s or the early 2000s or early 2010. But if your life revolved around boxing, man, dude, you need to go get some punani. You need to go to a strip club. You need to go buy a hooker or a prostitute. Do something with your life. Imagine your fucking only interest you really didn't have was boxing. Like, what the fuck? It ain't even good now. At one point, I can understand, I can understand it at one point. 
that shit is terrible. Now these niggas don't even want to be competitive. They happy being the co-IBF and the co, you know, IBF interim champion and shit. <laughs> 85 buck rules. No way, Jose. I'd rather go spend that at I'd rather go spend that at Benny Hannes. Give me a, a shrimp chili roll. Double my rice, my chicken, my uh my uh my fried rice, my chicken fried rifles, shrimp in that hole. You know, spicy chicken or something like that. Good to go, bro. Maybe some sake in there, you never know. But um that is what it is. You know, and all these people that claim they're gonna go in pocket and buy these pay-per-views, we'll see. We'll see what the last Eddie Hearn come up with. Oh yeah, we did 700 million pepper views. <laughs> you know, but hey, let me know girls and guys think thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase chance, get notifications. We go live, I'll drop a video. Financially wanna support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Memo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Memo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, everywhere else. Check out the Box News playlist. One time for one time. Peace.